Namibia is making positive progress in terms of social upliftment if the released data is anything to go by. Thanks to various interventions by government and other partners in addressing most of the national challenges. Professor Giovanni Vecchi, who is also a former employee of the World Bank, compiled the report on poverty levels in Namibia. Preliminary findings suggest that about one out of five Namibians are living in poverty. Um, this is a big success when compared to uh, poverty levels in 2003 and 2004. Uh, in the last decades, uh, poverty rates have been cut by half. So this is a successful story, right? Uh, the main driver behind this um, uh, decreasing trend in poverty has been economic growth. Uh, economic growth has been amazing and successful in defeating poverty. Despite these positive achievements, the inequality level in the country continues to be high. Inequality also plays a major role in preventing economic growth for doing even better to the poor, for observing even a more um, steep decrease in poverty. So inequality is a problem twofold. Inequality is a problem twofold, one per se and the other one because it prevents poverty from falling even more. Data collected by the Namibia Statistics Agency, NSA, which was described to be of a high standard and accurate, was collaborated with the World Bank records to arrive at this conclusion. But Namibia needs to rise its benchmark when it comes to measuring poverty levels. It's probably time to raise the bar, so to speak. In other words, uh, when a country develops, uh, also the poverty line is probably worth uh, rev revising. In particular, the minimum living standard in Namibia today should be probably uh, higher than it was in 2003 and 2004, and so it's probably also time for a change. And the Namibia Statistics Agency is expected to announce its 2017 household income and expenditure survey in September. Jeff Tashihumino, NBC News, Venduk.